So the first step that you're going to do is you're going to go to the Reports tab. And as you scroll down, you're going to see a section called Expenses and Vendors. And a good one to probably start off with would be the Vendor Contact List. If you're concerned about duplicate vendors, this would be um, a good option here. Now, when you get here, you can click Customize, Change Columns, and you have all of these fields that you can bring in. So if I wanted to have in my tracking 1099s, for example, um, tax IDs, perhaps, phones, websites, all of that here, you can you can do that. So I have got the address here, but sometimes I might need to split it out. That might be very helpful to, to do sorts and that kind of stuff. OK, so perfect. Now, another thing here that you might see is you're just in alphabetic order. And this is a, this is basically sorted by default. So if I needed to sort by the um, maybe the states, you could do that. Or you could maybe group by state. That might be another cool thing to do as well, get all my states groupings here. Uh, anyways, it, it just might come to your attention that you have duplicates. And I see a, a duplicate here with Logitech. There's two of them here. So my first row is Logitech, and I can see there's no no data here. My second one is Logitech Inc., and I can see that I got some information here. So I want to merge them together. What I would need to do is copy the correct one. So I would copy the correct name that I want, go into the one that I want to merge into. So I want Logitech to merge into Logitech comma Inc. I would click edit and I would come in here and I would paste the proper name that I have for that. And, it, and basically it will capture that these already exist. Would you like to merge the two? So. Just a word of caution, be cautious about you know having notes and that kind of stuff. So have a backup in place. I, I strongly recommend rewind backups because if you do make a mistake and it's unreversible, you can go into rewind to pull that information back into your QuickBooks account. In this case, it's pretty straightforward here. And I just have two vendor names. They're not contractors or anything like that. I just want the names to be consistent. So I say yes. And now it appears deleted. That's just its initial thing. Once I refresh the page here, it will all it will all flow into here. Okay. All right. So that's that's great. The second report I want to share with you will be um, I like the vendor transaction summary, and it is uh, expenses by vendor summary. This is I think uh, very helpful. To see all your vendors here, and I can I can go to all dates, run report. I can see I, this is a brand new QuickBooks demo account, so I don't have much here. But I'll just go ahead and uh, open up a new tab here, reports. Open new tab. So I've got that, and I'm going to go to banking, and I'm just going to code all of these A2Xs real quick here. So I'll select here, here, update, add the vendor A2X, and they are software. And I'll apply and accept there. OK, and I'll do the same thing for Hiscox. I'll do some insurance. Shift click to select these, accept. Now let's go back to this report and refresh. That is really cool that I can see that. And then I can, this is my expense by vendor. Then what's really neat is I can go by months. And I can see just like that how things have parsed out and so forth as well. Really helpful to have that. Now again, if you had an expense, let's say I, I write a check um, on my checking account and I pay for rent. 
and let's say it's 800 bucks and I don't put the pay you save and close then what's going to happen here is it is going to show up as not specified so if you want reporting based on vendors put the vendors in there <laughs> simple as that if you don't you won't get it now I'm okay you know if you go out you're at the airport and you buy something on your credit card I'm not suggesting everything has a vendor but I am suggesting the ones that matter to you that you'd like a report history you can do that the other cool thing about vendors is uh, if I need to rechange the category so if, if I messed up a category I can easily go over to expenses vendors look them up and maybe some of these here were not the way they were coded so I can check a bunch I can hit batch actions and I can reclassify them as such and um, go through that process and they would do that assuming we're not in a closed period and that kind of thing so hey guys thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next video